Hello everyone, I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and welcome to Floss Tube number 83. Today is June the 11th, it's 2022. And over the months and year, I have had many uh, subscribers ask me to do a whip parade. And because everything I'm doing this week, I cannot show um, because I'm doing it for StitchCon and other retreats. But anyway, I have a whip parade today because I didn't want to, you know, not do anything. So, let's get started. All right. My tastes are wide and varied, as you will soon know. Okay, the first whip I have, which <laughs> I'm surprised it's still a whip, but I just got squirrely. This is called Welcome Spring, and it's by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And I have not ironed anything. And this, oh goodness, I better do a board. <clears throat> on this one okay this one is on a lavender 28 count from my stash and this is what I've got accomplished so far this is probably going to be a next year finish since we're almost into summer but I like it um, if I just didn't have so many things to do I would be getting started on it so this is Primrose Cottage Stitches Welcome Spring all right. Okay, the next one I have, the ones you'll see now are, are my more current ones. This is a stitch along that I started with uh, Niecy Lynn and a few other people. It's the Waxing Moon Sal, and I'm doing the one with the witch down there in the house. This is creepy. And I have such a big start because uh, then I realized I didn't have uh, a couple of things done for StitchCon. There's my big start. <laughs> I've done nothing on it since then. <clears throat> but it's ready to go, and it's going to go to StitchCon with me. Sorry about the um, <coughs> rattling. But anyway, this one's on 28 count raw linen, natural raw linen. And uh, I'm using all the call for threads except for four DMCs that I could not find the uh, week style works for. So, and... I wanted to do it in a drum, but I'd already cut my cloth. So, there you go. Then the next one, <clears throat> excuse me, is my whip go for this month. It's, it's from the Santa Key. It's Secret Santa, and it's called No Chimney, No Problem. And this is hands-on design. And I'm also doing this for um, cross-stitch camp in June. And this is supposed to be a holiday finish. But whip go, I asked for a thousand stitches. I think it was, or five hundred stitches. No, it was a thousand. So I've got Santa Claus's little suit. So this will be going to stitch con with me also. And this one is on 32 count um vintage Tiffany on fabrics by Stephanie. And I'm using all the call four weeks dye works and the chronic braid number four. All right. <clears throat> okay, the next one, um, you've seen and seen and seen and seen. And I really need to get this one done this month because my daughter's birthday is next month. And I would like to have, oh, that one is done. Um, I would like to have them all framed and finished. Um, and for some reason, I got bogged down on the squirrel. I think it was the variegation of the thread. And so I ripped it out like two or three times and started over. And this is all I've got done on this one. And this is a Little House Needleworks chart. And this is the November. And it's the, um, from November and December. I've got December finished, but just not November. And this one's on 28 count raw linen. And I'm using all the classic Colorworks threads that were called for. <clears throat> So this one is everything I've got is like, oh, I need to hurry up and, and do something on it. So <clears throat> I have a lot of whips because I like to stitch different things. The next one is Kringle from Little House Needleworks. And this is also my whip go for the month. And I want to get a thousand stitches on this one. Um, this one's done on 30 count portobello. 
and I'm using all the call for flosses and I've just not worked on it because it's been like, well, I want to stitch this and I want to stitch that and oh, I just want to stitch all the things and it's quite wrinkled, but that's all I've got done. This will be a good one to take to stitch con. It may to go to stitch con and it may not. I don't know. I don't know if I want to take anything that big. Just not sure, so. Okay, <clears throat> and that's two over two. I'm not looking for that to be a finish this year. I was, but now I'm thinking, oh, I've got this and this and this and this I wanna do, yeah. So, <clears throat> anyway. All right, next, um, this was a whip go earlier in the year, and this is the, um, Heart and Hand Square Dance. Okay. And I've got down to, I did meet my Whip Go goals. I've got down to August. And this is what I've got done so far. And I've yet to start on September, October, or November, or December. I don't know why I get to the end of something. It's just like, eh, yeah, I'm done. This is on 32 count, and after I finish those, then there's a little border I need to put on that also. And so that may get a little work, or it may not. It just depends, and it's in my cute little yellow bag. Isn't that cute? All right, <clears throat> oops, wait. I'm putting everything out as I go along. <clears throat> All right, then next, switching gears just a little bit, uh, we're going back to Christmas. Um, I just fell in love with this chart when I saw it, and this one's called, And To All A Good Night, it's from Stitching With The Housewives. I love anything with Santa Claus and reindeer. And I'm stitching this on chalkboard from Fabrics by Stephanie, or not. I don't know, it's awfully, Stiff. It may not be fabrics by Stephanie, and this is all I've got to all, and then I've got three reindeer. This is on 28 count. <sighs> yeah, and I, of course I want to stitch this one too. So you want to stitch everything. <clears throat> so, um, it's, yeah, it's going to be a while before I stitch on that one. Then the next one I've got is a, yep, Little House Needleworks. And I kind of fell by the wayside on this one uh, when I was um, stitching. And this one is the sampler of the month. For some reason, I love these samplers of the month. Let's see the one we have. Oh, here it is. All right. Just had to get the right one. I've got a couple of them done, but I don't have a lot. This one's Country Cottage Needlework. Excuse me. Not Little House. And it is March Sampler. And, of course, I got Squirrely on this one. This one is also a piece of, I want to say it's beautiful beige. And it's 28 count. And this is all I've got done on this one. And uh, I got down to the rainbow. And uh, yeah, then I kind of got sidetracked. I guess March was over and I had stitching to do. So, but yeah, I'd like to get some more of those done. But there's no immediate hurry on that one. So that one's going to be put by the wayside for a little bit. Then the next one, this is one that I have always wanted to do ever since I've seen it. And don't ask me why I'm not working on it. I have no idea, especially on Blackbird Weekend. This one's Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. I got this on one of my travels, and it's in my Dot Dot Goose bag. No, not Dot Dot Goose, Creative Carol bag, excuse me. And all I have done, this one's on... It's not on that. Um, it's on 32 count. Um, let me look in here and see if I can find it. 
Nothing like being prepared, is there? <clears throat> or not? Nope. And I didn't write it on my pattern either. Oh, wait. Is that it? Yeah, here it is. It's 32, 36 count Weeks Confederate Gray. And this is all I have. That's it. So, I believe Blackbird Weekend, this needs to come out. Now, I have been wanting to finish the Cox Crow, and I thought, well, maybe if I finish that first, I'll, you know, work on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's my plan. We'll see if I stick to it, because I'm... But yeah, I really like this one. I've seen several people do this one and uh, they've changed some of the colors and some of them they've left and you know, it's it's really neat and I've seen it done and I really like it. Now this one is an exclusive design and I think it's just now coming out. This is by Annie B's Folk Art and I got this in a mystery box. It's B Sweet. I got this from Southern Stitchers Company. And this was another one of those magnificent starts. Um, this one's on fabric that she did, she dyed just for us. And uh, that's my big start. I've got the word B and then I've got a flagpole. Or do I? No, I lied. I lied. Excuse me. This was my restart, B and a flag. That's what I've got done. I need to rip that other out, don't I? I don't know why I restarted it, I can't remember, but I got kind of irritated with it, so I quit working on it. But um, I'll be going back to that, and I'm using all the Call for Classic Color Works threads, <clears throat> and I'm using one strand over one with that one. It's really cute. Then the next one, don't ask me why I haven't finished this one either. This was also a restart. And this was one of my monthly ornament things, which has gone by the wayside again. Every year it just kind of goes, you know. But this is Hot Cider, and it's a Mill Hill kit. And this is what I've got done so far. Just the chalkboard. And I was just getting ready to get to the good stuff. And then I'm just like, oh, yeah, I've got to stitch this. And I've got to stitch that. So that's a good travel project. And don't you love my project bag? Good old Ziploc. <clears throat> okay, the next one is a um, little Scotty dog bag that I got at Panda's Crossing. And uh, I'm not exactly sure who made this one, but somebody was making them and selling them. And you know I had to have it if it was a Scotty dog bag. And I'll show you. Let me get my gloss out. See all my cute little Scotties. And then there was just red on this side. Just cute, cute, cute. Um, this one is also another stitching with the Housewives pattern. And this one is pretty close to being done. Um, this one is called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And I did this on a piece of black from Fat Quarter Shop that I got like an even weave, I think it is. And I really liked how the how it popped off this. And this is what I've got done on this. So see, I'm really close. I just need to fill in the white checks up here and do a white red and white check border at the bottom and finish the gingerbread houses. And I think that's it. So there you go. I think Santa Claus needs a face. He doesn't have one. Yeah, he doesn't have a face. Yeah. So, but uh, this one's on uh, 28 count. And I'm using the classic color works that Priscilla and Chelsea call for. And I can't wait to get this one done because I have the little mailbox to put it on. <clears throat> when I saw the little mailbox, I just took a fit over that. And I thought, oh, got to get that. So, I might just put that like in my stack. Okay, the next one, <clears throat> I started and I had every intention of hurrying up and finishing this one. And it's almost done also. Um, this one is the March Hair. It's a Whimsy Limited Edition by Just Nan. Isn't that cute? And I wonder who this will be going to. Um, it uses uh, DMC. <coughs> 
and hmm, I just used all DMC. And this is what I have done. And it's on a scrap piece of mm, 32 count, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. And I've got the frame and everything. So um, I really ought to, you know, work on this one and, and finish this one. So yeah, the bunny needs an eye and he needs, there's a butterfly I need to bead and the bunny, um, there's a couple of uh, little bead looking things, flowers that I need to sew on and do a little bit of fill in on some uh, green and that's it. So close. That's two that's really close. So, <clears throat> okay. And then next, um, I'm putting these in the wrong place. I have certain bags that go in. Uh, oh, I didn't start that. Okay. That's just a kitted project. Okay, next you have seen, and the reason I have so many whips is because I kept doing mania. This week, this week, this month, I did not do, this year I did not do mania. Uh, because I just, yeah, 31 starts. Mm, yeah. So anyway, I'm Waxing Moon Designs, The Merry Musings, Life is Short, Drink the Eggnog, Eat the Cookies. That's the one I'm doing right now. And this one is on uh, lamb's wool linen. It's 28 count. And I'm using Week Style Works and a couple of DMCs. And this is what I've got done. Still in the same spot where you saw it last. And I'm using two strands over two. But I need to fill in the rest of my little gingerbread fan and do some words and fill in the hearts and do the border. So, not too much. If I could just have a couple good days stitching, mm -hmm, yeah, <clears throat> that would be great. Okay, what's next? Now, this one's an oldie boo goodie. <coughs> Excuse me. This came from a retreat. Okay, it started out, well, shoot, um, with this, yeah. Jack o' lantern. Okay. All right. And the idea this is a praiseworthy stitches. And this was on my whip go board, I think, last year. Um, okay. What I need. Okay. This is what it is. I have the scissor fob, the pin cushion, which I finished in. Oh, I didn't finish it in 2010, but I just put 2010. But I need to get um, the pumpkin. And I'm trying to see where the pumpkin went. I don't even know if I even started him. No, I've not even started the pumpkin. So this really doesn't qualify as a whip, I would say. It is, but it isn't. So um, I need to get that going. <clears throat> Because it'd be so cute. And all this cute stuff fits into, oops, hang on. Oh, goodness. Fits into this cute pumpkin. So anyway, but that was a whip go last year. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, then next I have, oh yes, I did the Zoom retreat. Uh, friends of friend stitch or friend stitch and uh, she had the pattern an autumn gathering let joy in <clears throat> and this was an exclusive isn't that beautiful and as much as I love this pattern don't ask me why but have I stitched a lot on it no I've stitched some but not a lot well I've stitched more than I thought I had um this one um was all kitted up for us by uh, Cecilia and, um, oh, I never can remember her name. Um, it's a Bent Creek and a Heart and Hand uh, collaboration. But they kitted it up and we had a Zoom retreat with the three ladies and it was such fun. And this is my progress so far. 
and this one is on um, 32 count vintage country mocha. Yep, it is. And it uses two strands over two and she used all week's dye works. So I'm really excited about this one. I wanna stitch some more on that one too. And I just wanna stitch all the things. Okay, <clears throat> so that was a fun retreat. I can't wait till the next one. All right, then, um, that's a kitted up project. Okay, this was going to be my, my exchange, Smalls Exchange at uh, StitchCon, but guess what? Um, I got to looking and it's too big. So all the stitching I did on it, We'll go for something else. But anyway, this is Quaker Gardens from Hello from Liz Matthews. And I was doing the little pillow up here. Well, I did like a uh, color conversion. I decided I wanted to do it because everybody's like, oh, I love red. I love red. So I found this piece of linen and I put the house on it. And I got that much done. I got to looking and I thought, ooh, this is kind of big. So even though I did... Um, well, I did one over two. Um, it's it's still too big for a small, so mm, it'll be a nice gift for somebody, or I may keep it for myself. And I do not know what linen this is on. Um, no, it's fabrics by Stephanie, and it's Colonial Parchment. I lied. It was just a piece I had left over. So this will be something. It's gonna go by the wayside for a while and I will, you know, stitch on that later. Okay, then next, uh, I'm doing the Mary Clayton Sal. And this is a hands across the sea pattern. <clears throat> I love their patterns because they're so um, easy to read. And the best thing about them is they have this little guide here that lists all the colors of the floss. So you don't have to worry about that. And I'm using the DMCs and I'm doing this one on 32 count winter brew from r, r Fabrics. And this is what I have done so far, which is not a lot considering uh, my friend Rhonda. She's doing a great job. I think she's almost finished. All right, and see that's what I've got. I may take this one to Stitch Con, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. And I'm using two strands over two. <clears throat> but this is one of those where it's like I'm taking my time. I want a pretty back. You know, um, I'm going to try to do everything right. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's my first hands across the sea sam uh, sampler that I've ever done. So, <clears throat> I thought long and hard about which one I was going to get. And I chose that one. Okay, and the next one, I'm doing this uh, stitch along. It's uh, with Finally a Farm Girl, Chrissy. And this is the Haunted House Sampler from Twin Peaks Primitive. And you know me, I love a haunted house. So, that reminded me of the Adams Family's house. You know, remember the show, The Adams Family? I loved it. And this is on 28 count natural raw linen. <clears throat> and... I got a nice start on it, but that's about it. That's what I've got done so far. And it's not hard to do. It's just that there's so many things I want to do that I can't seem to get moving along. Now, Chrissy's got a whole bunch done. She's even got part of her house done. But it's really pretty, and I would like to get some more on it. This may have to be like a 30-minute-a-day thing or something because I'm just like, oh, I really, really like this one. So, anyway... So that one's the Haunted House Sampler by Twin Peak, Peak Primitives. Ooh, is that a tongue twister or what? Okay. <clears throat> all right. Sorry about all the zipping and everything. All right, then next, um, I did a mystery sale with uh, Luminous Fiber Arts, I think it was. Oh, darn. That's not what I want. Yeah. 
Luminous Fiber Arts, Misty um, Purcell, and this is Jingle Jolly Joy, and that's it, and I got the PDF. Now, I was going to do mine um, all together, and then I changed my mind because I got to looking that my piece of cloth was not large enough. So, I've got Jingle, and I've got Jolly done. I've just not started Joy yet. Because Joy is going to go on this. So, I guess this, it could be a whip, but technically, I'm going to say it's not a whip. Okay? Because it's two-thirds done, but I haven't started the last one. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Okay. But anyway, I've got that one. Okay. <clears throat> then next, this is one that... Yeah, I'm just like, oh, yeah. I'm just like so tired of snowmen and white. I don't know why people just don't like to stitch on white, but I'm one of them. This one, um, I started the uh, sale with my L at my LNS, and it's a Country Cottage Needleworks, and it was the Snow Village. And I did real good to start with, and then I just fell by the wayside. Um, I've got two blocks done. I've got the Snow Boutique and the Snow Village. And it's very, very wrinkled. And this one's done on, oh goodness, boy, is it very wrinkled. This one's done on Country. Okay, wait a minute. It's done on 32 count country French rain linen, courtesy of Witchell. But see, it's really cute. Now, I haven't done the back stitch here to hold up the banner, but I got the little snow family. I'll do that. And then the little boutique. I enjoyed stitching on that, but a little white goes a long way. It really does with me. I'll stitch black all day. But, um, yeah. So... Yeah, that'll be one that it's just going to sit around a while and uh, rest. Yeah. Okay, then next, I got another box from Southern Stitchers uh, Company. And this is Annie B's Folk Art, You Melt My Heart. I think this came out at the last Needlework Expo. And, <clears throat> of course, um, it's white. And you know how I am about white. And I don't have much done on this either. But this one is done on... I'm working on the big, the larger pillow. It's done on... It just says 32 count hand dyed linen by Southern Stitchers. It doesn't say what it is. But it's really pretty. It's kind of like a denim blue. And there's my little belly of my snowman. And my wrinkled cloth. So, I think I'm a serial starter. But what it is, is mania in boxes. Yeah. I can hear one of my friends just going, oh, yeah, that is just too funny. All right. So, then, the next thing, I have this cute bag here that my friend Stitching Granny of 17 made me. Isn't that cute? A little strawberry in a jar. All right. And this was a mystery stitch along. And this was from the Stitching Book Club. And this was called Little Women. You read the book and you also stitched. And there's the pattern. And it's all DMC floss. And I just picked what floss I had, and I picked a piece of uh, even weave, and I've got this much done. This was like part one, all of part one, and part of part two. So, that one's taking a little break, because I'm not in the little women mode right now. And that's a PDF. Um... That was designed by uh, Sapphire Mountain, or Kristen Ashley from Sapphire Mountain, bleh, Mountain hand, Handicrafts, or Handcrafts. Goodness gracious. Mm. Okay. So that one's going to be like in a timeout for a while. 
All right, then next, <clears throat> I did yet another, um, no, oh, this was a Satsuma Street. And this one is in my first project bag. I think it's my first project bag. Yeah, this was my first, oops, project bag. Hang on, gotta get all my floss out. Oh yeah, I do know what that is, okay. Um, and I'll show you my project bag. This was from Stitch and Granny of seven, Stitch and Granny of 17, it was my birthday gift. <clears throat> and I think it's just beautiful, I love my project bags. Um, and this one's on Star Sapphire Linen, it's 28 count. I'm using all DMC floss, and this is the Satsuma Street Wizard of Oz pattern. And hmm, I'm trying to find it. Oh, here it is. There it is. Isn't that pretty? But it's huge. And I was not really big on the on point thing. So I kind of just went, eh, you know, after a while. But it will be a finish at some point in time because I do love some Wizard of Oz. And I have, I'm going to have to put this on a board. It's on 28 count Star Sapphire. <coughs> and uh, the first step was you were supposed to do the border all the way around. Well, you see, I kind of fell by the wayside on that. And then, um, I think the second one was where you do all these rainbows. So, I did one. And then, I went on to this. And I still haven't finished that one, I don't think. No, I've got a little bit to do in that. I think they need eyes. Yeah. I don't know what it is about me and eyes and faces. But anyway, this will be in timeout for a while. And uh, maybe. But I'll... I think long and hard now before I do a mystery because <clears throat> I like both of them, but they don't match anything I have in my home. And um, so there's really no place to put them. So I don't know about that. We'll just have to see. Okay, and the next one, yeah, there's more, is it was last month's whip. And I bet everybody's sick of seeing this one. Um, this one was Be Ye Thankful, and this was an oldie but a goodie. It was a stitch in time, and it's a hand-drawn pattern. It's even so old that it's got a photograph, a real photograph on here. <coughs> and I'm doing this one on 32 count antique, um, like a, a beige kind of linen. And I've got the sale up there on the ship you just can't see it i didn't do the mast yet but i've done several of the bands and i did get my goal met so that's good and i'm not going to let this one rest too long i'm i'm going to bring this one out again and work on it a little bit <clears throat> see my tired yet we're down to we're up to 33 minutes i mean mm, yeah but we're we're making real good progress <clears throat> okay Next, I'm doing a stitch along, can you believe it, um, with Java Girl, uh, Christy, and we're doing the Jardin Privé uh, Halloween. I can't, I'm stitching, and when I saw that, I thought, oh my gosh, I gotta get that one. And then she said she was gonna do the stitch along, and so I got this much done. You know, if I just stitched one project and stitched all the stuff on it, I might have something done, might not. But there you go. I thought that was really, really cute. I really like stitching on it. And I don't know why I stopped, except that, you know, there was always something else. And it's another Scotty bag. Isn't that cute? Oh, and I forgot to, uh, this one's from Creative Carol Designs. Isn't that cute? You know, anytime I see a Scotty bag, it's like, oh, gotta be having that. Yes, it's all about the Scotties, you know, because I am stitching Scotty. Okay, sorry about the zipper. <clears throat> then, um, you know, um, Hands-On Design 
has these block parties, and I fell in love with those. I did Java and finished that, but this is the 25th. And my goal, when I started this, I said, oh, I can do a reindeer a day. This is great. So I got this piece of chocolate milk fabrics by Stephanie, and I thought, oh, this is going to be easy peasy. Well, I got to three and a half reindeer, and then I kind of ran out of steam. And there's, oh wait, it helps if I get it in the, oh, goodness gracious. We have um, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and half a Vixen. Yeah, but aren't they cute? So, I think I need to give Prancer some white right there. I'm not really sure. But, um, I really, really enjoy working on this, and finishing these blocks is not bad. Um... I thought it, you know, I thought, oh, this is going to be so hard. It's going to be so hard. But it's really not too bad. So, um, that's another one I really would like to get done before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're on stack number three, and I'm falling out of my chair. Okay. Now, this one was my birthday start. And, you know, I really, ever since I've seen this one, I wanted this one. You know, I just want all the things. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> this one's from Plum Street Samplers. And this is called Gather the Gather In. And it says Gather with Grateful Hearts. Well, when I started, I decided I was going to, I thought, oh, I don't want it that big. Because it's 196 by 149. So I thought, I'll do this on 36 count. Well, 36 count and I didn't get along too well that day. Um, this one's on 36 count posh linen by Fortnite Fabrics. That was my birthday start, and I hadn't worked on it since. Yeah. One time. That was it. So, who knows? This will not be going to StitchCon because it's given me a fit, and it's in, is currently in time out. And I hate to say that because... It is my birthday start, and I think the plan is, is you start it, tag on it, sorry about the noise, and you start it on your birthday, and my plan was to have it finished by the next birthday. Well, I just don't see that happening. Okay, <clears throat> and then, speaking of not seeing things happening, you know, when this came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I've got to get this one, and it's just amazing, and you know, I've got lots of history in my family, and it, and it, relates to the Mayflower and oh I, I need you know on my dad's side so I need to I need to do this well <clears throat> my ship has run amok and it's aground <laughs> again <laughs> it was part of my whip go and this of course is coming to America the women of the Mayflower by Brenda Gervais and I think it's just gorgeous all right and this is what I've got done so far and this was my first endeavor on 36 count, I think. There we go. Isn't that cute? Look at all those stinking seagulls. There were a lot of them. And I still hadn't got to where this man is like man overboard. I, I just don't get that. But anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, we're plugging away. I will be stitching on this soon uh, because it is on my whip go. And I, I really thought it was going to be called this month. But mm -mm, no. So, um, this one's on 36 count, and I'm using all the call four threads. And I really, really do want to get this one done because it's beautiful. And I'd like to get it done before Thanksgiving, but I don't know. If I could get down below the animals and things and get on the words, I might really make some progress because I can flat do some words. Okay, <clears throat> then next we have... Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden Samplings. From the moment I saw this one, I'm like, oh, I've got to get this one. Is that not cute? It's an ABC sampler about Halloween. And I know some of my friends are going, oh, more Halloween. Oh. So anyway, this is on 28 count. And it's on um, Dense Fog. But it doesn't say who it's by. Um, and I've got a good bit of it done. This was a mania start. See? Oh, 
like that one. All right. So that one is definitely one I, I want to do some more on because it's just, I love cottage garden sampling patterns. I really do. That might just have to be going over there in the debate whether it's going to stitch con or not. Okay, then the next one is in another project bag that my dear sweet friend, Stitching Granny of 17, which she's probably going to kill me for, oh gosh, which she's probably going to kill me for mentioning it so much. <laughs> well, too bad. <clears throat> I'm just very thankful because I love project bags and I do not like to sit down and sew on the sewing machine very much, except when I'm quilting. If I make any kind of bag or anything, it's not a pleasant sight. And I have a couple of friends shaking their head yes to that. This one is from the sister's book by Blackbird Designs. And this is the one that you've seen every Blackbird weekend that I've done. And this is at First Cox Crow, the ghosts must go back to their quiet graves below. I'm using all the call for threads except for Gentle Arts Garden Gate because I couldn't find it. Now I've got Garden Gate, but of course I've already used the other that I used, which was DMC 844. And this is what I've got done on this one. Oh dear. And this one I'm pretty sure will be finished by Halloween, if not before. Because I really, really am enjoying working on this one. And just think, if I finish this one, I can start away with ride. I need to talk faster. <clears throat> okay. All right, so that's at first Cox Crow. And I love my little uh, bag, my project bag. Hang on a second. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful with the crow? I mean, it was just so fitting, the crow at first Cox Crow. And this is on 32 count oaken. I can't remember if I told you that or not. Okay. I have more whips. Okay, and everybody's like, holy cow, and I'm about to lose part of it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get that back in there. Here's another zipper. Okay. Well, I'll get that in there later. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is an Amy Brucken uh, pattern. And it was the Lucky 13 Sal. I, I started it with my um, LNS. And this is what it looked like. Home is where you hang your broom, just a wee bit wicked every day. And that's the pattern. And my goal was to do one little monster or, or Halloween figure every, um, every month. Well, that didn't work out either. And... Uh, this one is on, no, that's not it. Oh. Well, nothing like not being prepared. Um, this is on 20 count carat. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's not on 20 count carat. It's on 32 count carat. And, um, it uses Wheat Style Works and DMC. And I just love this fabric. It is very, very orange and very, very cute. And the little figures are kind of whimsical. And it, and I was going to give this to my grandson, but I'm really not sure. I may do, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But see, I've got the little witch. I've got the ghost. And I'm working on the little pumpkin guy, the little jack-o'-lantern guy. Oops. And I've got Frank and I've got the mummy. And then after that, I just kind of went like, okay, there's more to stitch. So, yeah. But uh, I want to get this one, you know, kind of worked on a little bit. So maybe I might try to do a monster a month. Who knows? Um, but it's been in timeout for quite some time. Not because I was mad. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to jiggle the camera. Not because I was angry at it, but just because. I just, you know, I can't stitch everything. Okay, this next one. I won from Priscilla and Chelsea. This was the first pattern I ever won. I was so excited. And it's Trick or Treat. And it's by Stitching with the Housewives. And this is how I came to know Southern Stitchers Company because they were going to send me the fibers. 
because I wanted the pattern and the fibers. And I don't know, somehow or other, something got lost or something. But anyway, they were so good to me and they fixed it. And this is on that black from Fat Quarter Shop, the 28 count even weave. And there's how much I've got done. Isn't that cute? I just love the candy corn. Mm. See, I need to finish that one too. That's been hanging out for about a year and a half or so, maybe even two years. Oh, goodness. Mm. Sometimes looking at these makes you happy and sometimes it's like, oh, I need to stitch more stuff. All right, then next is the one of the, well, it is the oldest whip I have. And this is the brick. There it is. And see, it's going to be a brick right here. And this one is on 14 count Fiddler's Cloth or Rustico is what they call it now. And this is what I've got done so far. And this is on my whip go for a finish this year. So we shall see. It's got several specialty stitches. I don't mind. Loads of French knots. So you can see those trees. And so I'll, I really want to get this one done. And this one came out of the magazine, uh, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. <clears throat> and I, that was my first stitch along. Well, not my first stitch along, but it was a stitch along with my... Um, my LNS. All right, then um, the next one <clears throat> I've got is from um, Country Cottage Needleworks, and this is Ho, 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 and Away We Go. You know, anything with Santa Claus in a sleigh, I'm all about that. And this one is on chalkboard, 28 count. Oh, flip. Um... And these houses were a lot bigger than I thought, or these buildings were a lot bigger than I thought. And this one, I started it wrong, but I measured, and it's going to fit on here. It's going to be tight, but it'll work. So that's why it was in timeout. But it's really cute, but I have a, yeah, kind of short start on that one. <clears throat> yeah, when you start your... um stitching always make sure that your cloth is turned the correct way and double check it because i thought i did double check it all right then that's not that's kitted up that's kitted up okay oh yeah okay then um i got the uh Phil philanthropic pumpkin from Hands On Design. Isn't that cute? And don't ask me why I've not finished this yet either, because it is so, so close to being finished. Um, maybe I'll take this one to Stitch Con because it really is close to being finished. Um, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, here we go. And this one's on and this one's on white linen. Um 32 count, and this is what I've got done. Isn't that precious? And it's just fun. It's really, really fun. But there are a good bit of color changes, so maybe I won't take it to Stitch Con. I don't know. Just have to think about that. But anyway, when I get this one done, I'm going to make the little pumpkin out of it. I've got all the little finishing supplies from Lady Dots because it was a collaboration between Hands On Design and Lady Dots Creates. All right, and then there's more. We're up to 49 minutes now. I'm trying to keep it under an hour. All right, next I won this from Tranquil Stitches, um, Cheryl, and she had a drawing, and I won the. Vintage Housewife, and this is a sow that they're doing. There's part of it. There's that stinking picture. Good grief. Well. Hmm. I know, I can hear everybody going, get on with it. There you go. <laughs> 
there it is. That's a lot of stitching. This is going to be one of those things where it's like, yeah, I'm just going to stitch on it some. And this is a stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop. And I've got one stinking block done. And some of the border. And that's it. This is a good project to work on when you're like going to like some kind of appointment or something. Um, and it's on a 25 count cloud, I think. Yes, 25 count even weave cloud by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. And I'm using all the DMC floss because I won the floss, I won the pattern, needle minder, floss catcher, everything. All right, and then, <clears throat> let's see. Hmm, oh, I dropped it. Are you surprised? <sighs> yeah, hang on. Oh. oh, I don't know what that goes to. That's not good. That's the only bad thing about doing these whip parades. You forget, you lose things, and you forget what it goes to. All right, the next thing I'm doing is a Lizzie uh, Kate Biscornu. It was a limited edition Biscornu and Fob, and this is Hoot. And I was doing this with the two tall stitchers, and it was the hashtag Biscornu Sal. Well, I got this side done with the googly eyes, and now I've got this side that much. So this is getting close also. Yeah. And I think they've already started another Discord new sale. And this one's done on natural raw linen. Then, <clears throat> the last sale I'm, I'm doing is also with Stitching by the Shore. This is a Jardin Privé pattern. It's Lady Halloween. And I got the PDF. And I'm doing mine just like um, Laura is. Oh, man. Except I think my purple is a little bit different from her purple. Mine is a fiber on a whim, and I think it's called Heather Field or Heather. And this is what I've got done so far. And I'm using 310, only 310, not three colors. And this one's on 32 count. Okay, and the only other whips I have are from my last retreat. <clears throat> and I'm not going to show those for Tom's sake because I want to be under um, an hour. So, um, but these are my whips and uh, I'm not counting them. And if you count them, don't tell me how many I have. I don't want to know. I just know there's three or four stacks here and that's a lot. But anyway, <clears throat> I do finish things. Yes, and sorry about the rattling, but um, I have a lot of fun, and that's all cross stitches to me. And I will see you guys. Oh, I don't, I will see you maybe in a couple of shorts or something if I can next weekend. I will be at StitchCon, so I'm not sure that I will be having a video next week, but I will come home and get one done just as soon as possible. A little catch up and hopefully I can put some short things on Instagram and remember I'm stitching Scotty on Instagram and on FlossTube and be sure and like and subscribe my video especially those of you that keep saying oh show us your whips show us your whips so now I've shown you my whips so anyway um thank you so much and I will see you guys soon and just wish me safe travels and I can't wait to meet all my new stitchy friends and some old stitchy friends. Well, I shouldn't say old, but you know what I mean. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.